grassroots football is facing a bleak future. Pitches are unplayable, the costs to use them are unaffordable, and parents are unhappy. After the sale of Wembley Stadium falling through, many are worried about the future of football. One movement is demanding change. Save Grassroots Football wants a 5% tax on the Premier League's TV revenue to pay for desperately needed facilities. The petition is to get 5% of the TV revenue from the Premier League to go back into Grassroots Football, which it promised in the 1999 Task Force Agreement. That has never ever been the case, and still today, it's never been the case. 30,000 signatures is not enough. As for Kenny, he claims no one will listen to him. They were told to keep away, and I've been told that on numerous occasions. I was actually told when I tried to go on a radio station, uh, not to mention the campaign. The campaign has failed to allure the riches of the Premier League, and its top clubs have backed the chairman's £5 million golden handshake when he retires. Football fans are angry. The FA pledged £260 million in 2015 towards grassroots football, with £20 million invested in Liverpool's new park life hubs. Not all are satisfied. Larger teams are given special discount by the county FA to use the pitches, while others pay more, up to £40 an hour. Certain clubs who have a number of teams have to pay per team, um, but the prices that were set, in our opinion, were very low compared to other local authorities in this area. Yes, that is a lot of money, I understand, but again, I think there'll be a number of reasons behind them perhaps folding. It could be lack of players, it could be no coaches, and we do support that. If the council didn't implement charges, and again, the benefits aren't going to be seen straight away, as we're saying, then long term, some of these facilities won't be there. They're absolutely fantastic. You know, there's disaster terms, there's toilets, there's proper changing rooms, somewhere to have a coffee, a tea, to keep warm, and basically will benefit grassroots football in this city. However, do we need more? We certainly need a lot more than is actually here. Being in a city with two of the Premier League clubs and two big clubs, I think personally they could do a lot more to help grassroots football. Everton in the community and Liverpool Foundation have already done some admirable work tackling homelessness and crime. But fans want their clubs to invest more in the sport itself. More facilities with fairer pricing.